bit about why you put your CSS tags in the header and your script tags in the footer. Maybe you've been told to do that, but you're not sure why. If you're going to be linking in your HTML document to an external CSS or script, if you're going to put those in, it's important that you put those links in the right places. Let's talk about why. Maybe you've seen a web page where all of the text is loaded and it looks like there's no additional font, there's no formatting, and as the page continues to load, then it all kind of goes into place and starts to look prettier. That is an example of a page where the CSS is not necessarily in the header and the script is not necessarily in the footer. There's an event called DOM Content Loaded. Why that matters is the DOM, the Document Object Model, is inside of the browser and it's seeing all the information from a web page, from the HTML, the CSS, and once it has all that information loaded to a certain point, the DOM will say, okay, it is loaded enough for us to display it for the user. What can happen if the CSS is not in the header, the document object model can think that it's ready to show the user, but the formatting hasn't actually loaded yet. Same goes with the JavaScript or whatever script you are using. If it's not in the footer, that time where the event happens, the content loaded for the document object model, might not totally line up for the best user experience. Luckily, the fix is easy. Do as you've been told and put the CSS in the header and the JavaScript in the footer to ensure that your users have everything load and be viewable to them when it's actually the way that you want it to be seen. As all of these videos, this is just a simple and basic explanation. Check out the link in the description for some additional resources.